Hello, Herb Newborg here with Chiropractic America. Just put together this quick video wanting to show folks how they can go back to getting the information that they had been receiving on Facebook prior to the recent changes. Uh, Facebook several weeks back decided that because there was so much content flowing back and forth under the existing system that they were going to uh, arbitrarily pick 250 friends regardless of how many Facebook friends you have that they were going to select 250 friends for you and only display the information from those 250 friends. Now in addition to that they also changed something else uh, in, in the news feed and they added a second option where they have a news feed and a live feed. Now what the difference is is under the standard news feed they just pick information that they've determined you might be interested in again selected from the 250 friends that they decide it may be most interesting to you and they display just that information. So here I'm looking right now they're showing something from 13 minutes ago, something from 10 hours ago, something from yesterday at 7 p.m. etc. So it's just a, a mish, mishmash of various things that they have applied some algorithm to and somehow determined that those are things I might be interested in. But if I click on view live feed then I would be getting all of the recent posts and updates from any of the 250 selected friends. Now the way to change that is once you click on live feed and you scroll down to the bottom of the page there's this option right here on the right, lower right hand side that says edit options. Now this may not appear on your page. It only appears on your page for some unknown reason if you first hidden something. Now the way, so if you scroll down to the bottom of the page and you see this edit options, just click on it. But if you don't, you need to first hover over any post that's up there. You'll notice as I hover, move my cursor over an option, over on the right appears this hide drop down window. And then I have the option to just hide everything from Peter in this case. Or if this was some nonsense from Mafia Wars or some notification of some application, I have the option to just hide things from that particular application. So any of the Mafia Wars, Farm Friends, or whatever these other applications are, you can hide the entire application. Or if there's a lot of nonsense posted by somebody and you don't want to unfriend them, you can actually just hide that individual's post and you won't see them anymore. But now getting back to the original issue, when you scroll down here, once you, if you haven't already hidden something, you just need to hide something temporarily. You can, uh, I would choose to hide something uh, if you find something that has multiple options, like one of these nonsense things from a, an application. I don't have one readily available. I don't really know how to get the person back once you hide. So I say hide everything from Peter. I can't tell you how to get Peter back. Yeah, I, I, you'd have to figure that out on your own, but. Uh, chances are you can either hide something or hide someone that you don't care to hear from or just pick something to hide so that this edit option button appears. Click on the edit options and you'll see down here this is where the default number is 250 and that is the maximum number of friends shown in the live feed. You can change that to any number you choose up to 5,000 which is the Facebook friend limit. Uh, so that's something that you can do. Change that to 5,000, click save or change it to whatever number you want. Now the other interesting thing, I don't know if it's interesting or not, but if you go into this edit options, this down here which says view recommended friends, you can actually click on view recommended friends and it will load in a list of all your friends. In this case it may take a while because there's several thousand of them, but if you go to that, choose that option, any of these ones that are blue already are the ones that they've selected. So you could see if you have any interest you could go in and look and see which 250 of your friends Facebook thinks are the ones that you may want to hear from. You can also then add additional friends manually there one at a time. You can also add a, a, a friend's name here. So you could type in any friend of yours and you could actually go in and add people individually. I don't suggest that you go to any of that trouble to do that. What I would suggest you do is just increase the maximum number of friends shown in your live feed to some number you know, in excess of the number of, of, of friends that you have or just, just take it all up to, to 5,000 and then go ahead and 
hide any of the users. If you have people that are sending a bunch of nonsense and drivel that you really don't care for, just hide them on an individual basis. So this will put the, the application back pretty close to where it had been prior to these changes. When you click on your feed, your, your news feed, you're going to see all the postings from all the people that you're friends with, just like you had in the past. So I, I don't really understand why they arbitrarily decided that they were going to pick which 250 of your friends' information they wanted to show to you and withhold everyone else's information. It's really put a severe damper on the whole free flow of information out there. Um, I guess they had a good reason for doing it. Problem, most likely it was bandwidth and, and the servers and usage that was being taken up to accommodate all those posts and dis display them to all the multiple users. So. That's how you do it. Hope this has been helpful to you. This is Herb Newborg. Have a great day.